The war in Ukraine continues, and near the village of Konstantinovka in the Donetsk region, Russian invaders have launched a massive assault on the positions of the 79th Separate Airborne Assault Tavria Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. The enemy wanted to unexpectedly break through the defense of our soldiers and for this purpose used six tanks and 14 armored vehicles with infantry, the 79th Brigade's Facebook page says. The soldiers added that the enemy failed to carry out a surprise attack. The 79th paratroopers opened fire on the enemy columns even before they began to advance to the attack line. Artillery, attack drones, anti-tank missile systems, minefields, the enemy once again felt the power of the Tavria paratroopers, the brigade emphasized. During the battle, our defenders burned two enemy armored vehicles with paratroopers and two tanks. Another Russian tank was hit and the other equipment shamefully fled. Our attack drone operators arranged a spectacular safari on the dismounted Russian infantry. One of the Russian attack aircraft had both legs torn off by a targeted drone drop. This is the end that awaits those who come to foreign land to kill Ukrainians, the paratroopers emphasized. Russia is piling pressure on Ukraine's stretched front line in the east, setting up fierce battles for two cities that could bring it closer to achieving its current main military aim. Moscow is seeking a breakthrough to help it take all of the eastern Donetsk region after Ukraine seized a chunk of Russian territory. But the Ukrainian defense forces regained positions near Zaliznyansky in the Donetsk region and advanced near Kamishivka in the Kursk region. The Russians have been trying to actively attack parts of Donbass for a long time. Ukrainian soldiers are giving a worthy rebuff to their opponents. Russia has suffered colossal losses on our land. The enemy's total losses as of September the 22nd, 2024, in manpower amounted to approximately 642,420 invaders. In addition, 17,000 222 enemy combat armored vehicles and 8,768 tanks have already been eliminated. The head of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, Kirill Budanov, said that the opponents will not be able to realize their unchangeable goal this year to completely capture the Donetsk and Luhansk regions. Russia has tricked a group of young men from Ghana, Africa, into fighting in Ukraine. Those lucky enough to survive are begging for help. The story about the incident was aired on the Ghanaian Channel 3 News. Young Ghanaians were lured to the Russian Federation with the promise of work in security and agriculture with a salary of 400,000 rubles or about $4.3,000. Immediately upon arrival in Kostroma on August the 6th, they signed contracts with the Russian Ministry of Defense, being sure that this was an agreement for work. However, the reality turned out to be terrible. The Africans were immediately sent to the front without any training. They are now under constant shelling somewhere on the front line near occupied Donetsk. Of the 14 people, only three managed to survive. Residents of Ghana managed to contact journalists from their country. We are suffering. We are begging you. Please save us. We thought we would work here as security guards. Help, they say in the video. It is noteworthy that the young people were recruited by their famous compatriot named Abraham. He took 130,000 rubles or about $1.4,000 from each of them for help. In addition, the young people paid for their visa and flight to Russia themselves. Recall the Russian military has ramped up its recruitment of mercenaries from Africa to support its frontline operations in Ukraine. This is according to Kyiv's military intelligence service, adding that most foreign mercenaries are recruited from Rwanda, Burundi, Congo and Uganda. A sign-in bonus of $2,000 is promised for these foreign recruits in exchange for their agreement to become part of a special unit as assault troops. They are also said to receive a monthly allowance of $2,200 on top of health insurance and Russian passports for them and their families. The existence of African mercenaries in the Russian military has been noted since 2023, when the so-called Russian Africa Corps was created. Consisting of over 2,000 soldiers and officers, the unit reportedly operates alongside Moscow's regular army and Storm Z units. Many of these mercenaries served in the Wagner Group and already had experience in Syria, Libya, Burkina Faso and Niger.